I'll just show you how to perform the glute ham raise. This is a glute ham raise that we got from Elite Fitness at one point. Uh, I'm a big puss, so I like to use this pad because for some reason this half moon pad tends to dig into my quad. So I use this to kind of make up the difference, give me a little bit of padding. One of the keys to a glute ham raise is to make sure that your leg actually falls through. I go to a lot of CrossFit facilities and they have different types of glute ham raises, ones that I don't think are ever meant to uh, do an actual glute ham raise off of. They perform other exercises off them, so maybe that's part of the issue that they don't realize that they're not constructed all that well. A lot of times they'll lock their knee in way up here, about right here, and you try to go forward off of that. You know, good luck with that unless you're some sort of freak gymnast or something. You're not going to be able to do a whole lot with that. You want to make sure that your knee is falling through. So that means your knee's going to come down in here. I'll raise these shorts up so you can see my beautiful sexy kneecaps. And uh, you want to get your feet wedged into this foot plate. This toe plate is here for a reason. If it wasn't there, you'd have nothing to push up against. I'm trying to flex my calf, originally called a calf ham glute. I'm trying to flex my calf, driving my knee into the pad. And as I bring the other foot up, do the same thing on the other side. Now I have some tension here. I'm going to come down, try to go about halfway, and try to come back up. I'm going to try to maintain that for as long as I can. I'm not that great at these. I'm weighing 285 pounds or so. I have quite a bit of body weight in my upper body. So it's pretty hard. My head weighs about 400 pounds. So I sometimes end up doing this. I get a little momentum from the bottom, and I try to flex. As you're coming through to the top, also make sure you're trying to flex your glute. That will activate the hamstrings even more. One of the great advantages to a glute ham raise is that it works your glutes and it works your hamstrings. So it's going to work up in here, all the way down to the back of your knee. So one of the best exercises you can do for your hamstrings, if you really suck at it, you can have somebody push you up by your chest until you get used to it. There's a glute ham raise tip from supertraining.tv and I'm out of here.